Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm sharing a mini album with you. I used lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also used a beautiful paper line from Knitwit Collections, and I'll link all the information in the description box below, all the products used, and links to find Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections. So check out the description box for more information on that. I do not have a start to finish on this album. I've been working on this album probably over a week now, so I'm just going to do a flip through of it. And I do not have a tutorial on this. This is the first time I ever made an album like this, and I don't even know if I did it correctly as far as, um, I think it's a gatefold album. I've never actually even seen a tutorial on a gatefold album, so I don't even know if this is correct on how it's made. I just came up with this idea and it ended up turning out pretty well. So for those of you that wanted to know, I unfortunately I do not have a tutorial on this album. So this album measures seven by seven. The spine is three. And this collection from Knitwit is called Authentic. It's a new collection from them and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's um, If you're not familiar with Knitwit collections, they are a digital paper collection, so you print them out and cut them out or have your Cricut or your Cameo cut them out for you. I like to use my Cameo. I have a video showing how I use my Cameo with digital paper packs. I'll try and remember to link that in the description box. On the front here, I did sandwich some paper over my ribbon. I used some ivory satin ribbon. And actually that's what I like about um, digital paper packs is I had placed my paper down and then decided to add ribbon to it. So instead of allowing the ribbon to just show on the back here, I just printed out another piece of paper and sandwiched it on top. So that hid the ribbon from the back. And if you're like me, I tend to hoard my favorite papers out of a paper collection. I will use those very last if I can, or not at all. But with digital papers, my only thing is I have to not use my favorite paper too much because I will tend to do that. So that's why I like digital. There's a lot of reasons I like digital, but that is one of them that I can use my favorite paper out of the collection over and over and I don't have to worry about running out. When you purchase a digital collection, it's yours forever. So you can print it out as many times as you want. And I like when I get a new collection, I like making a mini album because I can use as much of the papers. I can use a lot of the elements that come with it. I can use a lot of the product in a mini album. So the binding that I did is Kathy Orta's hidden hinge binding system. However, I just don't put the wings on the end like she does. But I gave myself a half inch gusset. On the front here, as I said, I have some ivory satin ribbon. I have some gorgeous flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are the tea roses, some wild roses, cottage rose, and a gardenia here. I also have some hip rosebuds and little open roses as well. I have a one of the printouts that come in the um, elements with the paper pack. It says authentic, be yourself, and it has this gorgeous rose on there. So when you open this up, this is actually magnetized to hold it. The ribbon I would say is more for looks, but it will also help hold the album together as well. So I have this magnetized and it opens like this. On the first page, let me pull it apart a little. I left these, um, just for the decoration. This paper's so pretty, I didn't want to cover it. On the first page here, I used a large Spellbinders die. I added some more of the pattern paper into the center of the die. These flowers here come in the elements, so I printed them out, and I love mixing the paper flowers with the mulberry flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I added some Sweetheart Blossoms. I added some leaves back here. Same with over here, some Sweetheart Blossoms and some leaves. These are the navy leaves that come in the collection. And this, these two here are actually clusters. So when you buy Knitwit Collections, they do both things. They give you clusters already put together and then they give you all these pieces separate. So if you want to cluster them yourself, you can do that. So to this, um, everything came together and I just placed it in. I might have placed the leaves. The leaves might have been separate. I also added a 
beaded pearl bead star here and here from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love those. They have hearts as well. They come in ivory or white. I have a tiny little label so somebody can place a date or name. And every pocket is an envelope style pocket with a pull out mat. Some of the pages are smaller so the mats are going to be smaller. This I designed on my Cameo. It's got a bracket edge. So that just slides in here. I won't take all of them out, but all of them, every single page has one of those. So now when you, on this side, I have another Spellbinders die. I cut it out in black cardstock, added some of the design paper into the center, added some large pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts, some Sweetheart Blossoms, and Apple Cherry Blossom. And then it opens this way. On this side I have a pocket with a pull-out mat. I use some of the gorgeous flat pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts in the ivory. And look at their paper. This is so pretty. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. So on this tag I have a large photo mat that's good for I believe a 3 by 3 photo. This says you are awesome. Don't ever forget that. That's one of their sayings or sentiments that come and I just added it onto this paper and then printed it out. So I like that you can customize whatever you want to customize with digital. On this side I did a large bracket. I believe um, I cut that out from the silhouette. I designed and cut that out. It's magnetized. You open it up to this side. Here's a photo mat. Look at that gorgeous paper. Gorgeous. I love this paper. You flip that open and there's a pocket in the center. This is one of their uh, borders that already comes like this so I just made a pocket out of it. Added two tags to it. Be true, you never know who you are inspiring. I backed them both with black cardstock, so photos can be added, a large photo can be added here as well. On this side I did another pocket, again using one of their clusters that already comes together. I just cut that out and placed it on a pocket here with a label. Here's some more of that paper that I was showing you, but this is in the pink. And when you buy their bundled collection, it comes with everything. It comes with their solids, their um, authentic to their FQBs um, which come with all the elements and you will not get duplicate paper so you'll get all different papers and you save 20% that way when you do that. So here I printed out a little photo mat added some of the single flowers that come in the collection. Gorgeous. I love this collection. You will definitely be seeing me use this quite a bit. So now I already showed you that side. Here's a shorter pocket. Again this paper came by itself. I added this cluster to the paper and then printed it out. You'll find some papers already have a cluster like this, but like I said in the beginning, they give you both. They give you plain, so you can leave it plain and add all their elements that come with it and design it exactly how you want, or you can print out the ones that already come clustered for you. So to that I added a, another cutout of their element flower and I popped it up to give it some dimension, added some of these gorgeous sweetheart blossoms and then one of the tiny little heart pearl beads from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, like I said, this one's just a shorter map but still more photos so this album will hold a lot of photos. Here is the pocket with a small mat. On this side I have a little diagonal pocket. I use this organza rose trimming in the baby pink and a mat. Look at this gorgeous, how, how perfectly this coordinates together. I have this. This is one of my favorite papers in the collection. It is a horizontal stripe but I just turned it diagonally to give it a little bit different look. I added some of these um, apple blossoms to the top, matted it on black. On this side I used a silhouette cutout, cut out this frame, left it open on the top so a photo can be placed behind there. This gorgeous paper, again this paper um, was I believe horizontal and I turned it diagonally just to give it a different look. Added some of the paper flowers along with some wild orchid craft flowers. I have some tulips and some hip rose buds and some leaves tucked back in there. On this side I made a bracket pocket, cut that out for my cameo. 
I added a mat with just the paper and then this is one of their tags that already comes together for you so I cut that out so this is great as a journaling card or adding photos and for several of the frames like this one here the oval frame I also cut out little templates so a person can use that to trace around their photo and have their photo fit directly into the frame I just they're not that pretty to look at so I just kind of hide them in a pocket so whoever gets this album then can use those on this side is just the gorgeous paper I use the plain paper and they they have an element of these flowers I just tuck that in the corner and printed it out. On this side I have a large frame that I cut from the Cameo, more of this gorgeous paper and then I added some beautiful um, flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side another flip open that I cut out from the, this is actually using a um, Spellbinders Borders one die. Flip that open and there is room for a photo, a 3 by 4 photo I believe, and a larger photo here. Look at this gorgeous um, tag that they already have made. It says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you imagined. And the author, this frame is a cameo cutout, so that's magnetized. On this side I have a side pocket, another bracket style pocket this paper and then this is a element one of the flowers and leaves gorgeous navy papers in this collection back to this side I have another bracket magnetized flip out a large mat here for a photo and then another cluster I left it open so a photo can slide behind it I cut out a frame from the cameo added a little heart that I had here and then on this side is a um, scallop circle. I used a a die from my collection. I can't remember which die but if you're interested let me know and I'll leave it in the description. And I also added this cluster to the side. These, This clock here comes with it so I just sized it down, added it on top of the flowers and same with that bow. So basically designed my own paper there. And then this flips open another photo frame this is a postage stamp with that gorgeous paper inside this is one of their little paint chips I love these and I turned it into a pocket so photos can be slipped behind there here's another little photo mat again that's magnetized then you flip over on this side some more of this gorgeous paper this already came like this so I didn't have to do anything to this and then this gorgeous oval frame. This is a Spellbinders frame. Again, left open. And here I used one of their sentiments that comes in it and it says, Be Amazing. I added that to the center. Some more of these gorgeous sweetheart blossoms, roses, and some pearls. On this side I have another little flower cluster left open so photo can slip behind this. Gorgeous paper and some flowers and leaves and some paper flowers as well. On this side I have a large pocket. I just added a tag in the center and I used one of the new metal embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a little bit of white paint to tone it down and some of the flowers. Here are two large mats. On this side they have these gorgeous labels and they come in different um, designs. I printed out the light one, added some Wild Orca Craft pearls to the side, and I glued it at the bottom, therefore I left it um, sealed so photos can be placed in here. And look at this adorable sentiment that comes. It says, you are awesome, don't ever forget that. Love this collection. Look at how gorgeous this paper is. All the navy and the pink goes so well together. I showed you this side. On this side I have another flip open. This paper comes just like this, um, so I added this tag to it and I added this label. I could have printed it all out in one, but I like the dimension of it. You probably won't pick up on it on camera, but it gives it texture. When you touch it, you can feel that it's separate, so I added those to the top. And this is magnetized, it flips open. Two by two photos will fit perfectly in here. I have some of the rose cut cutouts. On this side, this is one of their, this comes just like this. I added some pink paper behind it and made it into a pocket. 
and then I printed out one of their tags. This comes in their elements packs as well, or the FQB pack or the bundle. On this side, I have a tiny diagonal pocket. I used one of their beautiful tags that come in it. Look at that clock on there. To the pocket, I have some of the flowers and some an open rose and some sweetheart blossoms and this large rhinestone embellishment from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side, I have just a tiny little tag pocket. Again, it does have another pullout, so little two by two photos, or this is great for journaling, will fit in there. But on this little side pocket, I designed that by adding that cluster to the flowers. And then I also cut down the paper and I added the word be amazing to the center of this frame. These are new from Wild Orchid Crafts. Let me show you a closer look. They have them in several different resin frames to choose from. So again, you'll find that in the description box. On this side, I added another tag. I added this little clock that they have as well and a pearl to the center. On this side, I have a pocket with some flowers that I popped up on dimensionals, added some of this white organza trimming, several little pearls, and to the pocket, another gorgeous tag. It says, always be first rate, a first rate version of yourself instead of a second rate version of someone else, along with the author. I have some design paper on back. Photos can be placed in this pocket. And lastly, on the back page, I did a bracket waterfall, or excuse me, a scallop waterfall with the gorgeous paper collection, added some satin ribbon and some pearls. And as it flips up, it has that gorgeous paper. Um, for photos to be added also on the back as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. This was really fun to make. I put um, a lot of the paper collection in there, but believe it or not, there's still some that I did not use. I hope you check out both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwood Collections. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for stopping by.